do with three kids on the beach that it's are... fucking miserable i don't go by myself ever i'll never oh. ever ever be at a beach by myself i have to have like at least two adults with me to go to a beach so will the kids go like in the water like how does that work are yeah, they the allowed girls love the water they do I, and i don't how do you really watch them all it gives me anxiety no my kids don't run away they don't they stay always where i could see them without me having to tell them because i've showed them videos of kids getting kidnapped i know it's terrible but like God, you got to put a little to you this. have to put a little fear into uh. like kids for understanding like sometimes like they don't get it and you don't want to like let them learn the hard way so you have to like instill so fear so what did you youtube a video of a child getting kidnapped child kidnapping okay y'all heard it here first it's treyway parenting <laughs> that's how it is listen i i scar my kids but like but they're like, they always say to me, like, I'm, I'm like, stay where I, where I can see you. And they're like, we know you don't want anyone to take us. And I'm like, I know. Yeah, that's it. And they're very aware of it. I, like, I hope the therapist that is working with Jaden yeah, in 20 one years day. listens back to this episode <laughs> and can pinpoint this moment and say, this is not your well, fault, no, Jaden. I do, I do that to them, too. Like, every time I cook them something and they're like, I don't want that. And I'm like, OK, time to pull up childhood hunger. And I show up like kids that don't have food. And I'm like, you know what? You're very ungrateful because you have all this food and you don't appreciate it. And I feel like it's just real life situations it's trainway like, parenting google as a mom and just be like oh time to google hunger time yeah. to google kidnapping yeah that's it's what incredible. i do it, i do it for like everything whenever they oh like, you want to go in the ocean shark attack yeah google that shark no. attack and like we were watching that one where the shark like swam up on that boat the other day and because they were like <gasps> that was my, nuts because my mom's best friend has a boat and they're like can we go out on the boat can we swim in the ocean i'm like no and this is why because there's sharks in the ocean <laughs> and look at the shark eat this buoy <laughs> No, that buoy could have been a baby. But also, my kids are not scared of things. Like they watched that sh- that movie, The Megalodon, where the monster shark ate everyone. The Meg, the Meg. They've they watched the Meg. that and loved it. They watched Jurassic Park with dinosaurs rip people apart, and they love it. They're like, "Oh my god, that dinosaur is so cool!" And Dude, I'm like, your "Children are free." Yeah, they're like, they're not scared. We have Halloween dolls that they, we put up that they're not scared of. Like my kids just have don't we have told fear that story? Because, which what Skylar did to me? I think we've told that one before. Yeah. That, like, my kids show people the Halloween dolls in my basement to no, scare no, no, the no. shit out of people. By calling them dolls, that is giving a, a visual. They are terrifying Halloween decorations Life from size, hell. Life size, animatronic. Horrible. Demon. Demon. Possessed. And Skylar, sweet little blonde, blonde angel, takes my hand. Oh, Auntie Jessie, come here, look in the closet, come look Auntie Jessie. And it's like this seven foot demon with Pitch wings. Pitch black <laughs> demon with wings. She starts cackling, and I am, my heart stops. Because it's in the dark, and you have to turn it on, and all of a sudden, I'm this like, huge demon is there. And then I sit there and I go, Do I really want children? <laughs> like, what am, it's like, just my kids that are fucked up. Oh like my that. God, demon wings. And she's cackling because she literally scared the shit out of me. I wasn't I expecting think it's funny. that. She's a little girl. I don't think she's going to show me a demon with wings. I know. My kids are fucked up. What do you want me to tell you? Oh, well, no wonder. They're probably YouTubing demons. Another thing I'm thankful for is the baddies, mm. is the show. So thankful for them. They they're give amazing. Us, yeah. They're so interactive. This whole year with them has been... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's really... There are no words, you know... We um, have a group on Facebook called Club Batty and getting to know so many it's of you guys. It's one of my favorite places on earth, Club Batty. It, it just makes you, guys, If you, it's the only place on the planet. It's literally drama free. Judgment free zone, mm-hmm. drama free. People are not only not fighting in the group, they're becoming best friends. Yes. Like they fucking have a group chat. They they're have a fucking secret, secret Santa. Santa amongst them. Like I fucking can't even understand that concept. It's amazing. It's it's a feel good group. And this year we've made so many new friends with all the baddies. Yeah. And, you know, they've come to our events, our parties. And it's just been awesome. And then I have to be thankful for stories like these just to see your face. My face? As I read it. You have a story? Yeah. This okay. is from one of our baddies. Are you ready? Uh, you're making it to be very uh, making me nervous i don't know go ahead yeah okay so a friend of mine went on a date with this guy that she had met on a dating app okay sounds okay so far seems legit this was their fourth date and they met up for a dinner after they sat down to order the food she left the table to go to the bathroom when she comes back they eat have a good conversation and they get the bill to close out all of a sudden her stomach starts turning that diarrhea feeling. And she's like, oh my God, I am so sorry. I have to go to the bathroom. She doesn't make it in time and she shits on herself. Embarrassed, she tells her date, I'm so sorry. I have to go home. I'm mortified. And he's like, don't worry. You can shower and change at my place. What the fuck? Now, this is their fourth date. That's serial killer things. (laughs) Okay. This is their fourth date. 
Okay. I wouldn't feel comfortable going to someone's place after the fourth date. Obviously not. But so they go to his place. He takes her to the bathroom. She strips. She gets in the shower. And he says behind the door that, you know, he'll get her some clean clothes and a bag to put her dirty ones in. She says, thank you. I can't imagine where this is going. She proceeds to shower. When she's done, she gets out, sees the clothes clean on the bed. She puts her dirty clothes in the bag and realizes that her underwear is missing. She opens the door and sees him on the bed eating her shit. She screams. She calls the police from the bathroom and the police come. The guy had already left his house, but the police told her that it was the third call they'd gotten about this guy. Basically, when I, she went to the bathroom I, at the restaurant no, I can't. the first time. No. Remember when she went to the bathroom? Yeah. He put a laxative in her yeah, water. Yeah, I knew that was coming, but I just thought it was like a way for him to get out of the date so he didn't have to proceed. And that was like his, no. oh, if you don't feel good, we could do this another night and never call her again. His fetish is eating poop. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, um, I don't know how to respond to this story. I'm still, I'm taking it in because I really thought this was going in a way different direction. I knew he gave her the laxative because I saw that coming. However, I thought it was because he was over her and wanted to get out of the date. How did you see that coming? Why would because he... why would she shit herself when she got up from the table, came back? It's such a fucking cliche move. <laughs> but I thought it was because he was like not feeling her anymore and wanted the date to be so over. You think not that so was he like... could fucking eat shit out of her fucking panties. <laughs> so you thought his secret move was to drop laxative and gross yeah, so that he was like, mad. I'm done. Like if you have to go, I totally understand. Like like when they have their friends call, I physically don't know how to respond to this because I'm sitting here like dumbfounded yeah she, she found him eating her shit he, she came out of the shower and he's sitting on the bed eating her shit on her underwear her underwear was missing um which what patty is this <laughs> I don't even know. It's I don't not even have, her. It's a friend. It's a friend. I experience. don't even have the questions that I should have because I'm so You're fucking speechless. Yeah, uh, and like you know, the worst part to me is not the guy eating the shit; is shitting on a date. Like I just can't even imagine. I mean, in a you've restaurant. been married and you're with Denny how long, and you don't even talk. He about... doesn't think I poop. No, <laughs> so classic. <laughs> like I, okay. to me, I rather someone eat shit than like. See me shit myself. You would rather the guy you were about to fuck eat shit out of your underwear. <laughs> I just want to hear this correctly. That's what you're saying to me. To me, her shitting herself at the restaurant makes me want to die. <laughs> die. At her fucking rent. What are you, child? You need to go into the fucking restroom and get changed, a diaper change? Like, that's fucking crazy. I'm. I don't even understand people who poop. There should be no toilets for pooping. I'm done. There should be no toilets for pooping at a restaurant. I'm done. You shouldn't be able I to poop can't. at a restaurant. This is fucking disgusting. You're there to eat, not to shit. What is wrong with you? Oh, my God. And people that fucking shit immediately after they eat should just be contained to their home. <laughs> I am fucking legitimately flabbergasted by this story. I have not a fucking word of insight. I don't have anything. Yeah, it's fucked up. So people, it's scary. Visit, first of all, there is a there's a fucking disease called coxsackie. It's called hand, foot, and mouth disease, and little kids get it because they go to the bathroom, they don't wash their hands, and they touch a toy, then a little kid yeah, touches the toy. Okay, but that's <laughs> like a fucking virus in your body, a bacteria. Like eating like a, shit can yeah, not be good eating for you. Shit, how do you survive that? <laughs> I don't even understand the concept. How do you how do you survive that? Also. Have you ever fucking been in a bathroom after someone's gone to the bathroom? It's fucking gag worthy. Oh, I can't. I can't. These people visit. How did their mouth? How did they? How did she make out with him these past three dates and not be like, "Why does your breath smell, smell like, like you've been eating shit all day?" <laughs> these are the questions. These are the questions that I need to know. I need to know why she has been on three dates with this man, made out with him. I'm sure a few times, if not once, and never stopped to think. This man's breath smells like he's been fucking eating shit. And she didn't like red flags. No, this is non-negotiable. 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 Men who eat shit literally like non-negotiable. non-negotiable. The fact that the police are involved is not a first offense is offensive to me. If you go on a date and you shit yourself and the guy says, don't worry don't about worry. it. Fucking flag. Non-negotiable. Red flag. He wants to eat your shit. That's what's going on here. Okay, he's not a nice guy or understanding. No guys are nice or understanding. No, he wants to eat your shit. 
If a guy's understanding about you pooping your pants, he ain't the He's one. He's not the one. He ain't the one, sis. No. Non-negotiable. Oh, You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Can you believe that? No, I wish that I w- there are things in my life that I could have gone without knowing. Like, this was one of my major <laughs> top three. I wish I literally could go my whole life without have knowing this fun fact. How many single baddies are going to listen to this and just be scarred on their next date? I, I can't even imagine. Like, take your fucking drinks with you on your dates. Go to the bathroom with your drink. She's not Go being roofied. Drink. She's not being roofied. She's being lax. She's being poopied. She's being <laughs> poopied. You're not being roofied. You're being poopied. <laughs> oh, man. And I wish I lived fetish. in any other world. I fucking can't. In any other world. That's the thing, like... You Why is that normal here? Into this, into this world, like people are. Eating I have shit. to worry about my daughter's going on a date with some guy who's gonna lax her for poop. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I'm fucking sitting here like can't even comprehend what we just were told. I, if it wasn't for you baddies, we would not have. I can't even talk. I hate talking about. Poop. Anyway, I can't. I visualize the whole anyway, thing like a scene, like a Disney short. I'm starting to like, like nervous scratch, like <laughs> you're like on hives, bro. like hives, or like withdrawing from heroin type, like fucking with like I can't even exist right now. Just end it. Just please end the video because I'm gonna fucking throw up. I'm just sitting him, picturing him sitting on the bed eating fucking shit. Yeah. So you know, I I we appreciate those stories. Maybe not this one in particularly, but. Don't forget, guys, new clips air every Thursday. So see you next Thursday. Hosted on dimlywit.com. Even though we are not your best examples, uh, we're the best you've got. So cheers, bitches. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for updates. And if you like this clip, share it with a friend.